What's the bit about a penny? Instead of looking at rate and growth, we're looking at logistic growth, which is that S-shaped curve dealing with carrying capacity. Dn over dt is equal to R max times n times k minus n over k, where Dn over dt is your change of population size over time, your R max is your intrinsic rate of increase, n is your population size, and k is your carrying capacity. So a population of penguins has a carrying capacity of 650 individuals. If the maximum rate of increase is 0.25 per individual per year and the population size of 500, determine the logistic growth rate to the nearest penguin. So we're first going to solve sub in each of these different variables. Or, um, so we see that 0.25 is my R. I know that 500 is my population size, so we sub that in for N. And then I have 650, which is my carrying capacity, that will sub in for my K values. So if we multiply 0.25 times 500, I get 125. 650 minus 500 gives me 150, and then we're going to divide that by 650. So when you divide 150 by 650, you're going to get 0.231. And when you multiply that times 125, you're going to get 28.85. Now it tells us to give it to the nearest penguin, so we're going to round it up to 29. You can pause the video and see if you can solve this problem. A population of deer mice on an island has a carrying capacity of 350 individuals. If the maximum rate of increase is 1.0 per individual per year, and the population size is 275, determine the logistic population growth rate to the nearest mouse. First thing, let's sub in our variables. So we have 1.0 is our R, sub that in. Our uh, population size is 275, sub that into those two places. My carrying capacity is 350, and sub that into those two places. So 1 times 275, of course, is going to be 275. 350 minus 275 will give me 75. If I divide 75 by 350, I get 0.214. Um, and then when I multiply that, I get 58.92 equals 59. Hope this is helpful. Remember, 85 pay, we just assessed by all.